Hello everybody and welcome back to my latest video. This one will be on how to run a sensor analysis in SharpCat Pro. So running these sensor analysis is something that I'd recommend to any Astro camera owner whether you've just got a new camera or whether you've had a camera for a long time and you've never bothered doing one. So it gives you a wealth of information about your sensor such as how to, you know, what the unity gain value is, but it also allows you to use the smart histogram tool in SharpCap, but it also gives you other information like the full well depth, which you can then use to calculate what ADU you need to aim for when shooting your flats. Um, that's something I'll cover in another video. So a lot of people struggle. I get messages about this all the time and how to run the sensor analysis for this purpose I'm going to use the new Altair Hypercam 269C Pro. SharpCap do recommend that you use a natural light source but for this video I'm going to use an iPad with the brightness fairly low and I've switched on guided access to ensure touches don't register while we're doing the video. If you like what you see don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. I'm going to first plug in the camera and connect it to SharpCap. So this Altair 269C. And I'm going to select the highest bit depth that I've got available. So for this camera it's RAW 12. And then I'm going to place it on my de facto flat panel and I'm going to go to tools and sensor analysis. I'm going to skip the binning measurements because I'm, I'm not fussed for, about those at the moment and I'm going to click start. You'll notice sharp cap starts to adjust the settings and I'm going to switch the lights off as well. So at the moment it's telling the, ex the exposure is too short, so I'm just going to let it finish adjusting and see what it says. So, okay, sharp cap's now happy with that, and I'm going to click proceed. So it's now going to do some measurements, and you'll see a graph start to be populated in sharp cap. This takes a little while but I've got a running um, sort of timer in the bottom which will I'll say at the end of the video how long it took for this sharp cap um, sensor analysis to complete. I know some people have said it's taken them hours but really it shouldn't take that long um, and I'll fast forward all these bits in between. So once that's done, we just need to cover the sensor for the dark measurement. So literally, I'm going to place the cap on the camera. And I'm going to click proceed. So once it's done, we just have to uncover the sensor again, place it on our flat panel and wait for the sort of sharp cap to adjust itself. There we go. I'm going to click proceed.
and there we go um, it's finished so if I extend this up a little bit we get a nice table of values and that took 8 minutes and 50 seconds to complete so what I tend to do is copy and paste them in a note uh, a note sort of pad document or a word document or you can literally sort of print screen and um, paste it as a, a sort of picture to save but yeah you should probably save it somewhere so that you can refer back to it so here we can see the full well depth of this camera is 22,892 let's call it 22,893 and in another video I'll show you how to calculate your ideal um, target ADU for your camera depending on this value but the main sort of value we want to look at here is where does the gain uh, sorry the E per ADU equal 1 so for this camera it's somewhere between 501 gain and 630 now you can interpolate this if you like but I because I've already done measurements I know the unity gain value so where the E per ADU equals 1 is around 565 so what you can do once you have this value is if we cross there now ideally you would have your sort of camera attached to a telescope now and with filters in the way or you know whatever you would be using to shoot but you can go to tools histogram and then you can click on the brain now you can then sort of change these settings as you like so I'm going to stick it as A for unity gain and I'm going to put my minimum exposure and max exposure at 10 minutes now and click measure so you would normally have this on a telescope and you know have your camera attached to the telescope with whatever filters you want in the way and if you run this it will tell you the ideal settings for that camera with your telescope and filters but the most important part is you have to run the sensor analysis first so just waiting for the image to settle it's all automated and you'll notice settings changing on the screen so obviously the camera's on something bright but there it's told me the optimal sort of unity gain is 565 and the actual gain at that setting is 1.01 .01. so ignore these for the moment but if you're attached to a telescope it, for example it might say the optimal exposure is 60, setting, uh, 60 seconds with like 100 exposures or something um, these numbers will change but here we have the optimal gain of this camera is 565. So that was how to run the sensor analysis in SharpCap hopefully it's been useful let me know in the comments whether you've ever done this before um, whether it's something that you do all the time for your different cameras and you, you know your different setups or whether it's something new that you're going to try and whether you were successful or not as always thanks for watching and um, see you for the next video which hopefully is the full review on the Altair Hypercam 269C Bye for now.